Rebound relationships are often a result because one person who ends a relationship, they're just ready to move on. They don't want to think about the other person. They don't want to heal from the breakup. They don't want to process what just happened. They just want to get right into another relationship to avoid facing whatever happened in the previous relationship. And often when you're in these rebound relationships, you're not even aware that it's a rebound relationship. It's usually something that just happened because you're just on auto mode. You're just moving on. You're trying to just get your mind off of the past relationship. But once you realize you're actually in a rebound relationship, it leaves you feeling regretful. You just regret the fact that you did it. So I'm going to help you in this episode heal from a rebound relationship and just to begin to process and move forward in a healthier way. But before I get into it, I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also my podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to share your comments and views on this message. So often ending a rebound relationship can leave you feeling confused and it also can give you a lot of regret. You can feel like, you know, wow, what did I do? Why did I get into this relationship? How did I find myself hurt and and in pain again after one bad relationship? Then it becomes another um, and, and you feel like, I need to move forward, I need to heal, I need to figure out what's going on with me. So a lot of times you might be feeling shocked once it's over because you're not really processing that you're in a rebound relationship when you're in one. But then as you can look back and see, wow, that relationship started right after the other one ended. I didn't give myself time to process, to heal from the breakup, to heal from a past relationship, I just move right on to the next one. And oftentimes, unfortunately, the rebound relationship can be worse than the one previously. And this is why it's important that you give yourself time to process things, to heal, and, and just to get better in knowing what's best for you when it comes to relationships. Again, you may feel angry from the past relationship, which leads you into a rebound relationship. You can, you know, get into that relationship to get your mind off of the past, to distract you from all the hurt and pain from the previous relationship. You could also be dealing with the fear of loneliness, just fear and being alone, which leads you into this rebound relationship because you're so afraid of being alone you're just willing to just move on and go to the next relationship so it's very important that you process it that you give yourself a chance to heal now there are people who all they're always in relationships they're always with someone they never have a time where they're by themselves. And really that's something to face. That's something to analyze and to deal with because if you aren't comfortable being single, being with yourself and healing and processing and understanding what went wrong in the past relationship, what you can do moving forward to heal and to have healthier relationships, that is a big sign that Something is going on with you emotionally and internally that you must face and and must deal with because eventually you're going to have to face it. You know, you can't avoid things forever. You can't always avoid your emotions, your pain, your feelings. You have to face it because it's a healthier way for you to grow as a person. So the big problem isn't just rebound relationships. The big problem is you not being able to face what you're dealing with and heal and process so that you're not just entering into rebound relationships, but you are purposeful about the relationships you encounter. The real issue here is the lack of self-awareness that is leading you to unfulfilled relationships. 
See, the more you become aware of yourself, the more you learn yourself, the more you can grow, the more you can know what's best for you, the more you can see yourself in better fulfilled, healthier relationships. So it's important that you get to a place where you begin to acknowledge that there's a temporary comfort that comes from the rebound relationship. Although this rebound relationship provides a temporary comfort, it doesn't come with long-term commitment. And so understanding and looking at things from the long term and seeing where is this relationship leading me. You also want to begin to prioritize your self-reflection, understanding yourself, having more awareness of why you make the decisions you make, what led you to this relationship, and how you can move forward in a healthier way. So when you prioritize your self-awareness and just being aware and having the reflection of what it is that is leading you in this type of relationship, it's going to help you moving forward to make better decisions for yourself and for the relationships you enter into. Finally, you want to begin to work on cultivating healthier emotional closure by healing from the relationships. Listen, relationships are not something that you should just push to the side as if, oh, it's nothing, I could just move on. No, when you're in a relationship with someone, not only is there an emotional and physical connection, but there is also a spiritual connection that you may not always be aware of. And a lot of times you are spiritually tied to individuals. And even though you move on to new relationships, there's still a spiritual connection that has not been broken. And there's still some pain, emotional wounds that are invisible that you haven't dealt with, that you haven't faced, that you haven't healed. And so you're just suppressing it and pushing it down and moving on, but you're just adding more layers and layers to the pain. And eventually that pain is gonna come back and so you have to deal with it. You have to go through the process of understanding yourself, of learning what hurts you, what you can do differently moving forward in order to be in a healthier space in your life and when it comes to the relationships you desire to attract in your life. And this is why I share a custom plan to help you heal, not only heal from relationships, but to attract deep, lasting love in my book, The Love Habit, which is all just to help you with a daily self-care practice to a happier life and healthier relationships. But you're going to learn a custom plan to help you heal from those relationships. So go ahead and click the link in the description to get the book. You can also get the book anywhere books are sold. It's The Love Habit. It's available on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, anywhere you buy your books. Look up The Love Habit by Rainey Howard and start your plan, your healing plan, your process to get to a place where you can be healthy, where you can be strong, and you can make better relationship decisions. You owe it to yourself to heal. You owe it to yourself to let go of the regret of past rebound relationships, hurt, pain, let go of the fear of loneliness. You deserve to thrive in peace and joy and to have a healthy, happy relationship and just to be in a place where you can thrive. So again, go ahead, get your copy of The Love Habit and begin your process to attracting deep, long-lasting love. I can see you now enjoying a long-lasting, thriving, healthy relationship. And I'm looking forward to walking with you through that process of healing and growth. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Be sure to share this message with others that may need to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube ch channel and my podcast. I'm looking forward to connecting with you in the next episode.